you know, I've been having a problem with DV5 in terms of how I lay out all my content on the page. Every single time I add a new row like this, it takes up the space on the screen. Of course, you can define it to whatever you want, but notice what happens. If I were to go in here and add a heading, and this is, let's say, heading one, and I paste that, you notice that this content here is taking up the whole page, I mean, the whole width of what I define it. So this can be very problematic because there are cases where you just want your text to be just your normal paragraph readable text. So what happens now is if you want to make your text readable, you then need to come over here into your module settings and then you go to design, sizing, and then this is where you set up your width. So in this case for readable paragraphs, it's going to be 70 characters like that right and then of course uh, you're going to need to center it so this is where you would apply content like blog blog posts or terms and conditions or anything that where people want to read you know so this would be the ideal size but do you see how many times i have to go in and uh, fix this now the other problem that i also have is when it comes to content sometimes it's not clear how i need to lay it out and how do i have a perfect grid as I'm designing my site. So I came up with an idea. And this, by the way, I'm going to add it into Crafter, which is our design system, our DB5 design system. If you haven't uh, watched the video, please check it out. I will leave a link to that in the video description below. And also, if you want to learn about uh, DB5, I have a DB5 mastery course at the moment. It's got 44 lessons. This is a course which will pretty much take you from beginner to immediate level design skills. Oh, by the way, before I forget, if you want to master Divi and learn how Divi works, I have a course called Divi 5 Mastery. This is a course that will teach you how to design using Divi 5. As you know, Divi has been built from the ground up. It doesn't work like how Divi 4 used to work. It's a bit more advanced and it's a complete new UI. So this course will save you a lot of time going on YouTube or going to documentation, trying to find out how DV works or how DV5 works. So this course is only $27. If you purchase now, uh, you won't be charged extra when I add new lessons and modules onto the course. You're just locked into the $27 price. So go ahead, check it out. The link to that is in the video description below. All right. So back over here, if you take a look at what I've done now, when you look at all my rows, they're going to be totally different now. So I just want to give you one example and then I'll show you how I managed to do this. So in this example here, if I click on this row and we go over here to our design, you'll notice that this is a wide text row. Okay. If I come over here, if I click on here, you'll notice that this is a module and components row. And then if I come further down here and I click this, you'll notice that this is a text row. Further down here, you will see that this is a wide content row. So all our rows now are defined. This is a full width row. If I click here, you can see this is a full row. So this is used in situations where you want to perhaps just show a nice, beautiful, large image. This is where you would add this. So do you see how easy it is when you start designing to just choose whatever row you want, depending on what it is you want to do? So back over here now in our example, if I wanted to uh, specify what the what row this is, I'll just come over here to rows and I don't even need to know or guess what it's going to be because it's all labeled for us. So if I come over here now to sizing, I will just choose and say, okay, this is my module and components row. Okay. So this is where you get your testimonials, your cards, you know, pretty much anything like that. This is where you'll add all this. And this is a 12 column grid and everything is going to be spaced out correctly. Now, of course, the gaps in between, uh, this is up to you what you want it to be. So you would come over here. In fact, let's go back elements and make sure we are in the right place. So if I go to columns now and then go to design, I can now specify the gap that I need between these items. So I can go extra small if I need to, which I don't think looks great on this design or I can just go in and say, okay, you know what? Let's just go small. That still looks nice too, if you want to go with small. Ideally, 
you would just go in, test them and see which one works better. But in this case, I think medium is the best. But do you see now how you're going to start getting uh, all your rows to be structured absolutely correctly? And there's no need for guesswork now. There's no need to know how many characters you need for your paragraph text. Because if you know that, oh, okay, uh, this content is going to be paragraph, all you need to do, in fact, let's do this from scratch because I had to go in and customize this. And you can see here that it doesn't look right. So if I wanted to add a paragraph, I would just come over here. In fact, let's add a new, a new section. So I'm gonna come over here and click on this plus button and add a brand new section with a new row. Okay, so in here now, I'm just gonna add a slightly different color here on the background so that it separates my content. So I'm gonna go in and add a light background. Okay, so at this stage now, we can go in and choose exactly what we want. So first of all, let's just add some text. So we're gonna start off with some heading text. And then below that, we're gonna add our normal text. So I'm gonna search for my text module like that okay so now i can just go in in fact uh, i can leave it as it is and just duplicate this so that at least there's a bit more text for people to read okay so now with this i don't have to worry about okay how is my content going to fit or oh, you know one thing that we haven't done we haven't defined our heading here so let's go in and set this to uh, heading one. So right now it's heading one and then we're going to go to our preset here and now you can see it's heading one. So with this text now, this is how normally you, <laughs> it comes out of DV5. In fact, this will be 1080 pixels in terms of the width of this row. So what you want to do now at this stage is to just go in and say, okay, I want this to be readable text. You select your row and then you come over here on sizing and then you say text row. So now this is your text row. Easy to read, no messing around, and it's mobile friendly. But if you feel like, you know, it's a bit too tight and you want to make it slightly bigger, a wide text row is the one that you go with. And there you go. Now you've got a wider text row. So all your headings now are going to be within this width in our row, which is fantastic because you don't want to have a situation where your design now is not consistent. So this can be your terms page. And if you have another page, which is a privacy policy page, this could be there. And so it just depends where, wherever you have text, you're going to have this row. And I think this is the easiest way to design with DV5 and my design system called Crafter. Now I'll add a link to that in the video description below. It has a ton of features uh, from colors, to fluid spacing and in this case we also have our presets for our rows and we also have presets for all our sections and so on so this is a powerful system and it's going to make the designing of websites very very uh, consistent and you're also going to be able to design websites super fast without any guesswork so what where do we go from here well i would like to hear what you guys think how do you design your content on your pages with your rows is this what you do do you deploy a totally different way of laying out your content? Please let me know in the comments box below. I'm curious to, uh, to hear how you've been doing it and uh, so we can share ideas. And by the way, if you haven't uh, joined Divi University, head over to diviuniversity.com. This is our online community for Divi 5 users. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you soon.